Okay, it is the worst time trying to put out anything. I got a tetanus shot, tennis shot, tetanus shot. It's, all, it's a shot right here in my arm. I just took a shower, which was almost impossible. And now my whole, you know, it's like you feel black. If you ever got one, you feel like pfft, wasted, like wasted space. Because you can't do anything. You just have to like ride it out. And yesterday, when I went to the hospital, I wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to go, just go home and relax after. I got stitches and stuff, the medicine. Oh my God. It's just... I'm even annoying talking about it. I feel like I'm complaining, but I'm not. I'm really in like so much pain, but I'm trying to like, hey, <laughs> it's just painful. Like my stitches. Oh my god, is it bleeding again? No, thank God. I just took a shower, cleaned it up. Stitches. If you don't like stitches or anything, focus on that. Wow, fuck you. Yeah. Awesome. Get close to that. Mm -mm. So this arm is like in pain from the shot. This arm, I can't do anything because. Every time I even touch a stitch, it like hurts. So, getting ready. I can't even put on pant jeans or anything because it's hard to button my pants. So I had to like change my outfit, what I was already gonna wear. <sighs> this shirt was like annoying. I everything's annoying. I, and I just have to take my dog for a walk. Can I just take her for a walk? Uh, oh my lanta! It's because I got stitches. It's all because I got stitches. Can't do anything because I got stitches. <laughs> Are you done? Let's see we're drinking some water. Hey guys, it's me, Roberto Carrasco. Um, I am here at home. I just came back from a walk with Lucy. I just want to say hi. Come here, say hi. I just want to say hi to you guys. Hi guys, it's Lucy Carrasco too. Say hi friends. And I know a lot of you were worried and I really appreciate your concerns about me cutting my hand. If Warning, if you don't like blood or cuts or stitches or anything like that, there's gonna be a lot of that in this video. So disclaimer, don't look at the rest of this video because there's that. Ta-da, I got stitches. But before I tell you about my stitches, a lot of you were wondering how I got the stitches, how I got cut, how I was in the hospital, why was I in the hospital, why I wasn't responding to all your messages. Uh, let me tell you, I can't do anything at all. My whole body is in so much pain from one stitches and then shots and stuff. I'm working while I had stitches and stuff instead of taking a break, oopsies. Before I start this video and let you guys know, don't forget to, obviously don't forget to smile, but please, 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 as always, every year for my birthday, I always ask you guys for your donations to donate to the Sam's Cancer Foundation. The link is always right there down below. Anything I say that's important for you guys to read or link and everything like that, it's all going to be down below. So go click that link right there, donate, and if you can, please share on all your social media, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and stuff. Tell you, tag me, tag your friends, tell them to donate. If they can't donate, please share. It would mean a lot to me. I don't really expect on really reaching it because we already reached $250 for Christmas time because I didn't want to give, I just wanted you guys to donate to the Sam's Cancer Foundation and that was really amazing to me. So if you can't or can, please share or donate. That would mean a lot to me. So let's get to the video. Uh, if you were wondering how I um, cut myself, okay. So I cut my finger. Do, do, do. Um, while at work, I was cutting a bagel and I told my coworker that he's the one who jinxed me because I was doing it all week perfectly fine. And he looked over to me and said, Are you sure you should be using that knife? And I said, I've been using it all week, nothing's ever happened. Ah! There was blood. There was blood all over me. And I seen it right away, like I felt it, and I was like, mm. I grabbed it, right away, threw away the bagel, ran to the bathroom. I'm totally calm. And that's the thing about me, is whenever something bad happens, like a tragedy or something, I'm like very calm actually. And like, I'm just like to myself, and like, okay, calm down, relax. Because nothing's gonna come to come if you're overreacting or if you get like crazy about it. You just gotta stay calm, be cool, and just breathe, and just, just figure it out. So I walked to the bathroom, I grabbed a whole bunch of napkins. I was like gushing blood, like not even like drip drops, no. I was like gushing, like there was like blood everywhere, like a lot of blood in the sink and stuff. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. How am I gonna stop this? So I'm like, okay. I went to the chef, asked him where the, um, the first aid kit was and the first aid kit was in the office. I went to the office and 
and I grabbed the band-aid because I'm like a small band-aid obviously it's gonna work but it did not work I am right there in the bathroom trying to patch myself up Law and Order SVU style or ER or whatever doctor show I'm trying to do on my hand trying to like bandage gauze it tape it whatever I need to do because I just know I need to get back to work um because thing about me too is if I know I'm supposed to be doing something I go full on for it I'm not gonna be someone that says oh I'm sick I can't do it unless I'm like really sick and they don't allow me to do something but I will push myself till I have to like I'm not someone who just gives up if I have a task at hand I'm gonna do it this is actually permanently the way my hand has been this whole couple days now a day or so it just looks like I'm hitchhiking I was in the bathroom for quite a while and I was like trying to like patch it up, try to do something. It just kept coming out. I put those little finger condoms on. It's a finger condom, but it's like, I forget what they're called, but something that's whenever you're bleeding or you patch it up so it doesn't get on the food or anything and just like keeps it safe. But it did not get safe for me because whoopsies. Um, blood was like filling up like a balloon. Like that's how much I was bleeding, guys. It was like all like Obviously, like a condom is like okay, but blood was just like a lot, a lot, a lot of blood, and I was like, oh my Atlanta, oh my Atlanta. So then I started freaking out when they seen that, and then the napkins. So then my manager came to knock in the bathroom, and he's like, are you okay? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm fine. And he's like, why? Have you, what's wrong? I was like, oh nothing. And then I got, let him in. He's like, oh that's a lot of blood. He's like, do you want to go to the hospital? And I was like, I can't go to the hospital. He's like, what do you want to do? I'm like, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna try to bandage it up. So then he kept asking. He's like. So again, do you want to go to the hospital? I'm like, I can't go to the hospital. I don't have any money to go to the hospital. Because I have rent and bills to pay and things. I can't just like add an extra bill on this. It's not on my schedule. If it's not on my schedule, I don't like doing things that are not on my schedule or on my list. And that just like freaks me out. And one, because I don't have list, I don't have money for the hospital right now. I just got this job and I'm just starting to bake it and do good things and save and start and you know, and being an adult about life and I'm like a cut and stitches were not on my list. We go, he takes us to the office, he's like, okay, we're gonna talk to the other manager. Then we talk to him, he's like, oh, bro, what happened to you? I'm like, beats me. <laughs> so we're talking, he's like, oh yeah, we gotta get to the hospital, man. I was like, oh no. Yeah, we got my coat, we wrap it up. Wee, wee, wee. Just kidding, we didn't go to the ambulance. That would've cost way too much. So we're on the way to the hospital and like, it's a bleeding a lot. Like a lot of blood is in the bag. Like I looks like I just chopped off my hand and it was just a finger, but I said my hand cause I was like, whoopsies. It's, you can barely even type guys, come on. We get in there and the lady is like, I'm like holding my hand and you can see all the blood and she's like, you're gonna need stitches. So I'm like, uh oh, this is bad. So I'm already freaking out because one, I never got stitches, but I kind of wanted stitches because I never had them before. So like, side note, I've always been that person that wanted braces, I never had braces, I wanted a cast, I never had a cast. Side note, I even got run over once, and let me know down below if you want me to tell you that story. It's pretty dumb, but pretty funny to me. My manager goes back to work because he's like, hey, let me know if you need anything, I'm here for you, we're all good. Um, Cause lady take care of this guy, he's my good friend. And I'm his employee and stuff, so then he's my manager's great, everybody's cool, everything's great. But we went there, so we're in the hospital, and here's some footage of me being in the hospital and stuff and being a clown about it. I just I'm not somebody who is gonna be like, oh my god, I got stitches and be sad about it, and then I'm gonna have the audacity to post about it. I'm like, just one, life is too short to be so serious. Two, it could have been worse. Three, it's just a finger, and four it's like, might as well make a joke out of it. If I'm trying to like be calm myself, I like try to like make it the situation a little bit less scary and like, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha, I got stitches. <laughs> but seriously, like, it could have been worse, guys. So like, I know it's scary, you guys. I really, really appreciate you guys, all your love and support and making sure I was okay. And at the hospital, my, my friends even walked Lucy for me. They took care of her. They were freaking out too. But like, I'm someone who's like, such like, be calm about it, you know, like, Okay, this is what happened. It wasn't as serious. Let's take care of it. It's gonna be okay. So this was me at the hospital. Guess in the emergency room. Me. There's blood. Mm, I cut yeah, myself. Hey guys, up there. I got stitches. And an x-ray on my thumb. Whoa. There's blood all over here. You don't want to see that. It's gross. But um, yeah, I'm fine. I love you guys. Thanks for caring. And um, good morning, Houston. I got stitches. We have a problem though. I have blood. Yeah, other than that, I'm totally calm. Um, I'm very calm actually for some reason. Um, I don't know what's going on, but um, 
my thumb is numb. They put like this big shot, this really cute dog. Did I put a big shot on my hand? This big, big shot. Twice. Whoa. Mm, gotta go. Maybe. Okay. Love you guys. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. And here's some, we have a problem. A lot of blood. Oh my god. Um, I love you guys. But uh, yeah, don't forget to smile. And thanks for caring. That means a lot. Thanks, guys. Um, there's blood, but I mean, I love you. There's stitches. You don't want to see that. There's blood all over this counter. On the plus side, my doctor, very cute. Not the plus side, he told me to not go to his house and take out these stitches. Because I'm like, I'm going to go to your house and take these out. He's like, <laughs> don't. But it's okay because, I mean, he's really nice. And he watches Fuller House. So, I mean, like, we're like best friends now. Okay, see you later. Update. Got the stitches. Um, my finger is numb. So, yeah, that's happening. Um, yeah. That's basically it. Watching fake news. And then I could leave. And back to work I go because I'm a trooper and a Mexican. Mexicans, we work hard for the money. And I have bill space, so, I mean, I gotta go back. Hey guys, I'm home now, so sorry to worry you guys about update. Um, here I am. Um, you can see where they gave me the shots. If you can see the little dots and stuff on my hand. Um, and then there's this shot right here. Um, I can't even hold my phone up. Like, there's like, my whole arm is numb and in pain. My arm and hand right here. I have the biggest headache. And the medicine, the shots, everything has worn off to numb the pain, but... I'm in so much pain. They didn't give me any medicine. But, um, yeah. I love you guys. I'm gonna try to take a nap. Um, I'm... I love you guys. Thank you for your concern and love. But I'm sorry. But I just, like, really need to take a nap now. Okay? I love you guys. See you soon. I'll try to upload a video later to explain. I love you guys. It's not that serious. But I just... I love you guys. Thank you for all your love. It, it means a lot. But, I mean... I just cut my, cut my finger. I'm fine. I love yous. I love yous. I love yous. Have a good smile. Yeah, really, I really, really, really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so very much for all your love and support and just being there for me and making sure I was okay. I really, you guys, that, all the love just means a lot to me. So I really do appreciate you guys. All this is great, I guess. It's really scary. I don't know if you want to see a close up of that, but yep, that's my stitches right there. Um, looks scary because it is. Um, so I got six stitches. Uh, I got an x-ray on my finger. So that's even more crazy. Like, not crazy like, well, I got stitches. I got an x-ray on my finger. More like, <laughs> the build's gonna be insanely amazing. Thankfully, my job is gonna take care of it. It's all gonna be taken care of. But, it's just like, oh my gosh. Like, jeez. And I, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go home, wrap my hand in the towel, come back to work. It was a lot of blood. Even the doctor was like, you lost a lot of blood. So I was supposed to come home, but I was like, nope, I'm a trooper. I'm going to work. I walked from the hospital to work, and I was like, mm, I got this. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. And I did it. Want to know why? Because I'm not a quitter, and neither should you. Never quit. But now, my body is still in pain. It's like, oh my, Atlanta. But it's okay. It's okay. Because I have things to do, people to see, places to be. Bills to pay because <laughs> I need a roof over my head. My landlord and stuff is not gonna be like, You got stitches, it's okay. Because I got stitches and life still keeps moving. I thank all my co workers, all my friends, and family, and everybody is super sweet for asking and making sure I was okay. I'm in pain, a lot of pain actually, especially right now. Moving around my hands and body, this hurts all the way to my right here. My shoulder where I got the tennis shot. Tetanus shot, tennis, tetanus shot. I always keep saying tennis shot, but whatever. But I got it. Hurts a lot. Um, what's wrong, baby? You wanna say hi? Say hi, guys. So yeah, Lucy got taken care of. Everybody's good. We're all good. Everything's great. I love you guys. Um, as always, we really do love you guys. As always, remember. As always, remember. Don't forget to smile, guys, because you truly do mean the world to me. Even with my stitches, the world to me, and I love you so so very much. I just can't get over that I have stitches. But yes, as always, don't forget to smile. And remember, you are never, ever alone in this world. So yeah, if you want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, things, all the social medias are all down below. So don't forget to check that out. Follow me there. And donate to San Andreas Cancer Foundation if you can. That would mean a lot. Share this video. Let me know if you ever got stitches. How did you feel? How did you even get stitches? Have you ever got six stitches? Because I got six stitches. <laughs> Just like
We love you.